Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today I am going to show you how I start and end threads on the front of my fabric. I have had this question a bunch of times and I had some extra time today, so I thought I would film this to show you. So the same concept is on even weave linen or Ada, except on Ada, you will have to split the threads because Ada doesn't have these extra holes. This is 28 count Lugana in the color Springfield Sage, which is like a sage green. So I normally do not stitch with one strand ever. I'm a two strand stitcher. So what I do is I do the loop method on the front. So I'm going to show you. So we're just going to pretend I'm going to start now. Where I start the loop is in the top right of the square, if that makes sense. And let me start down here. Trying to do this through the camera is not easy. <laughs> so I put my needle in through the front. See how it's already looped? I come down this like I'm completing the first leg of this that cross. I catch that. I pull it till it gets there. And then I'll put my needle back through the top right and pull that little knot through. See that little knot right there? You pull it through. And now the first leg of your stitch is done and your, your thread is anchored. It's not going anywhere. Trust me on that. Now, I'm going to do a couple stitches. How I end on the front. Now, I like to end and start on the front because with the Lowry table clamp, to turn your work over to the back, you have to pull the lever. Do It's just easier to start and end my threads on the front. That way I don't even have to turn my work over to the back ever. And if you've watched my past stitch with me videos, I haven't turned my work over to the back. I've been doing this like for the past two weeks. So let me do a couple stitches. I really like Lugana. And I just pulled the thread out. I hate when I do that. I really like even weave. Linen, I'm not a fan of. And by the way, I have this fabric on my handy clamp scroll rods. It's drum tight. It's tight. I like them. I like them very much. I'm going to do six stitches. And the, I do a version of the pin stitch or the pin head stitch to end my thread on the front. And I watched a couple videos this morning. There are different ways to do this. And it seems like everyone does it different. All right, let me complete the X's. Whoops. I could feel my thread nodding in the back. Why? Why does it want to knot when I'm trying? It doesn't matter because I'm going to be cutting these threads out anyway. I am a stitcher who does like the poke and stab method. I've tried two-handed stitching and I just... I just don't care for it. I think if I practiced at it, I might get better. I've tried it a handful of times. I just prefer this way. There's no one way to do any of this. All right, so we're going to pretend I'm getting to the either the end of my thread, right? Or I want to change colors. So... I'm going to do what I do over here to show you first, and then I'm going to do it on the X. So pretend I have an X done. 
in linen or even weave there the each block each stitch each x if you do two over two is actually nine holes one two three four five six seven eight nine what i do is i will come up on the bottom of the x through that middle hole i will come up go through the middle and then come up top and then go through the middle and kind of pull it it's anchored it's not going anywhere and then what i'll do is i'll come up on the right the bottom right of the x and that's where i cut my thread i'll cut it i'll cut it right to the edge of the fabric so let me show you on the x so pay attention to this x right here this one on the far right i will come up through that middle hole see where at the bottom i'm coming up i will come up move the threads i will move these threads and go down through the middle of that square underneath the stitch and then I go up top see where I'm at up top of that X and then I will go back down through the middle and I my thread came out again see when you do it underneath of a stitch the stitch hides those other stitches they're, they're never going to be seen from the front and then so now my stitch is anchored my threads anchored what i will do is i come up through this hole right here at the bottom right give it a little tug and then i'll cut that thread right down to that x Now, sometimes there is a teeny tiny bit left where I just will put my needle. But if you have, especially if you have stitches next to this, it's going to anchor that. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to get that little tuft that may be there. But see how it's like finished on the front. And I'm going to flip my work over to the back and show you. Don't mind that knot. There's a knot there. But you can see how it, this way, you can't see it. Oh, okay. Forget that. Forget me flipping my work over because I set the, so it wouldn't do the autofocus. My tutorials aren't perfect here, people. I am just trying to show you this, though. Now, there is another way to do this, which I'm going to show you also. I don't normally do it this way, but I'm going to show you. That's how I will do it if I need to end the thread. There are people that also do the pin stitch this way. Let's say I still stitched those purple stitches, but I want to change colors. And let's say over here, I'm going to be stitching another color. You can come over where you know it's going to be covered by stitches and do the pin stitch. So I forgot that I don't have the thread anchored. You can come over here. I got to anchor this. Wait a minute. Let me do another X. And you know, once you get the hang of this, it's very easy, in my opinion. Okay, we'll go to the left of this since I did that stitch. Let's pretend that I'm going to end that thread. But let's say over here, 
there's going to be stitches. I'm just going to have a different color. You can come over and do the pin stitch. And the stitch actually disappeared, it looked like, or it slipped underneath. You can actually come over and do the pin stitch because you know that the other stitches you're going to stitch over here are going to cover it. Now, I would be careful doing a dark thread pin stitch where you're going to have light thread color cover it because you may, that little thread, like let's say I was going to do yellow, that may peek through there. Now, I also tend to use this method to end my threads, which I really like. It's almost like in a way knot or a waist knot, but it's not, <laughs> if that made sense. Okay, so let's say I'm done stitching the purple and I want to end the thread, but let's say I'm going to be stitching down here. Well, okay, here's a good example. No. I'm trying to think of how to say this. I, I need to end the purple here, and let's say there is going to be some green down here. If I know there's going to be stitches down here, I will come down a couple stitches and pull my thread to the front like that. And that's a really long tail, so I will cut that to where it's a, an okay length. I will leave that on the front of my work like this. So then I will do other stitching. And I did that on last night when I stitched in my stitch with me. I knew it was going to cover. When you stitch th this section, you are covering that thread in the back. You are anchoring that thread because on the back of this, and let me try to show you, hopefully it won't be too blurry. Okay, there it focused. See how I carried that thread? When you do those stitches on the front in another color, it will go over that thread and it will anchor it down. And then what happens is when I get to this thread as I work my way down the pattern, once I get there and a stitch is going to cover it, I just cut this thread off because remember it's already anchored it's anchored why is that doing that okay it's anchored by the stitches that I did in that section if that makes sense I hope that made sense it's easier to watch me do it if I am stitching to teach it and show it is a little bit harder so I hope that made sense I hope that showed you how you can end and start your threads on the front the loop method to start on the front is probably the easiest way if you're using two strands if you're using one strand you can use the pin stitch and I will link a couple other tutorials down below that where people have done the pin stitch to do um, I hope this helped to show you how I begin and end threads. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.